Um, so how many people are using Unity today, right? Is this a product that five people use? Is it that 100 people use? We have almost 200,000 numbers out of date, almost 200,000 registered users of our product out there today. Less than a year ago, that number was 10,000. And I'm gonna give a sneak to a slide later. Why did that happen? Because we made our tool free. We have one version of our product that's actually free now. And since then, people have been picking it up like crazy. So it's a, it's a huge active developer community that's out there, meaning a lot of people to help you out, a lot of people to answer questions, people of diverse backgrounds, ages, whatever. Um, so 200,000 registered developers using our product. Separate from that are 30 million plus that have our web player installed. So let me talk about what Unity is. That's a lot of yak yak about where we come from and, and who we are, but uh, what is it that it actually lets you do? Um, so Unity itself, this is our editor, it is a multi-platform development tool. Uh, lets you create 2D and 3D content um, for the desktop and the web. It's all browsers, both platforms. Um, and it lets you create iPhone, iPod Touch, iPad content. We have Android support on the way. Um, so multi-platform. Uh, and it's designed from the ground up to be intuitive and easy to use. And so uh, we want everybody from the novice programmer to the artist to the designer to uh, the high-end games programmer to be able to step into our product. And I'll talk later about some examples, but let me just cite two that are at very opposite ends of the spectrum. Um, let's go to the high end, Electronic Arts, which is like at the peak of the games industry that people look at. Uh, they took their Tiger Woods golf game and wanted to bring it online, and they did that with our product. Uh, and why was that possible? Because it's got the power and the capability and all the features and bells and whistles they want. But at the other end of the spectrum is we have this one kid, uh, his game company is Mika Mobile. He's a 22 year old art school student that graduated last year. And he learned Unity in about six to eight weeks, wrote his first game in five weeks. It's called Zombieville USA, and he put it on the App Store for the iPhone. And at $1.99, sold a million units last year alone. So art school student learns a product in, in a month and then develops a game in a month, and then you've got EA. Uh, you, we really do span that whole range of people, and then everyone in between from small game development shops. So when I say intuitive and easy to use, part of that is the JavaScript and the C Sharp. Um, and the user interface is very visual. So as designers, you'll find it friendly to come in and move things around visually and not have to do it all in code like a lot of other game engines. Um, so if you compare us to like Torque or some of these other competitors we have, uh, we're just light years ahead of them in that category. Um, and so it allows you to bring in various assets, models, textures, sounds, and you make interactive content with it. We, we, we're trying to shy away from the phrase game engine because we don't want to box ourselves into that anymore. Um, architecture and data viz, I can show an example of a, it's called the visible body, and it's like the human anatomy, and you're able to peel back different layers and show uh, muscles and nervous system components. So um, don't think of it as just for games. Um, anything interactive and visual that you wanna, wanna create, Unity will let you get there. Um, the tools on Mac or Windows, you know, I think this is a very Mac heavy place, and I say thumbs up to that. Um, but you know, it's just a platform choice, it's a tool, so we're on Windows as well. Uh, you can create content for Mac or Windows, and as I said, um, you know, the iOS products, Android coming soon, uh, Wii console, Xbox, PlayStation are also on the way. Um, and so we want to go for this author once deploy anywhere. And as you go out into the job world, mobile is going to be increasingly important. And you know, think about that as what, what are you going to put on a phone that somebody might want? Maybe it's the same experience that you're going to have on a website um, or potentially later on other mobile devices like a you know, Nintendo DS or whatever. Um, and we want to try and be that one tool to rule them all, if you will. Um, I keep mentioning in the browser and content, the Tiger Woods golf game. So that, that relies on the Unity web player. So when you're creating content, you've got some portfolio material, and maybe you've got some static 3D models or artwork, and you want to do something with it. Uh, you can actually put content online with Unity. And uh, that's done with the Unity web player. Everyone familiar with, like, Flash? Right? You have the Flash player in your browser, and then content just loads. Anyone? Anyone? Nodding some Okay, cool. Um, it, ours is just the same. It's a one-time player install. And, you know, as I mentioned, we've got EA using it with the Tiger Woods golf game. Uh, Lego Star Wars just came out, and that was, um, well, just came out about six months ago. That's done using Unity. And then in the non-game side, because we've got to keep mentioning that, like, NASA uses our, our technology on their website uh, for, like, data visualization and scientific research viz so that people can see why are we spending billions of dollars to hurl some satellite around Saturn. Um, well, here's some data and explanations as, as to why. So um, lots of different usage of it. Um, and, you know, as I mentioned, it's, again, Mac and Windows. And 30 million active installs with 2 million more a month. Those numbers are already out of date because it's like 2.5 million and closer to 35. So it's, uh, you know, it's getting to be extremely prevalent. So if you go to talk to potential clients or whatever, um, you know, it's a pretty easy sell as to why they should uh, adopt Unity. And of course, game portals and whatnot are using it, so um, it, it's widely adopted.
me to scroll the switch to um, a video I forgot that was coming. This is an example of Tiger Woods in the browser. Just to show you, this is all content that would run in a browser. So you can see the, the type of capabilities that you have. I mean, this is on decent machines, looks really, really good. And it, and it can run on everything from netbooks on up to you know high-end desktop machines. <laughs> Um, you know, again, you take a company like Electronic Arts, and they're not going to skimp on quality and performance. Um, so you really can get, get best of breed content. Um, now, of course, this is top developers doing work, but uh, it shows kind of the extent that's possible uh, with our technology. So we'll, we'll go ahead and skip out of that because we don't need to see that. So let's talk briefly about what Unity is not because um, it's important to know. This is one of my most hated slide sets because people don't want to have you do that because we don't like to uh, limit your creativity and tell you what you can and can't do. We are constantly surprised by people doing something with Unity that we never thought you could do. Um, so there's only two things I'm gonna mention here that Unity is not meant to do as, as a primary purpose. Um, and the first one is it's not meant as a tool to create pre-rendered images or animations. Right? You know, you can use lots of tools to create static animations and you put it as a quick time movie and there you go. This is about real time interactive content. So you can create that same experience, but then let people interact and move about. So keep in mind, it's, it's a fundamental difference than, than you know, like video creation tools. Um, and then the second thing that, that it's not is it's not meant as a modeling or artwork creation tool. So you're gonna need to either know or work with somebody that knows Blender or Maya or 3D Studio Max or what have you. Um, so you'll do your modeling and artwork creation externally, you know, whether it's 2D images or, or models. And then you bring that into Unity and you cook it together with some programming work and, and you're going to make your content, your interactive content as it is. Um, so those are the only two things that Unity is not meant to do. Otherwise, you know, it, it, it's up to you to decide how you want to use the product and it's really, really flexible. Um, but keep those in mind as, as two limitations. What is Unity iPhone? I mentioned Zombieville USA. If you could see it, that's it in the bottom corner. Um, so what is Unity iPhone? It's, it's just a tool set add-on that allows you to create iPhone games, uh, iPod Touch, iPad. Um, it's separate from our main license. It's like an add-on, but it requires you to be on a Mac, so that part's not Windows only. Uh, thousands of games up on the App Store. Um, so it's, it's a really successful tool there. So again, I'm trying to drive home the point to think about mobile as you consider uh, Unity or your, your career in general. Because more and more of us are going to be walking around the main computing device you're going to have is not going to be a computer. It's going to be that kind of smartphone you have, um, even as students, eventually. Um, that will be the case because it's just getting more powerful and cheaper, and you use those all day, every day. I would mentioned iOS 4, but this isn't really a developer-focused uh, crowd. Um, it's been a bit of a pain in our butt lately, but luckily it's been solved. So um, what is Unity Wii? I mentioned you can create uh, you know, Wii console games. So again, learning a technology that lets you move a lot of places. Really cute game. Anyone in the room have a Wii? Anyone? 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 $10 download, really fun game, but you can preview it online. Awesome. That's my sales chip. Okay. Yeah. Um, you can go to maxinthemagicmarker.com and play it for free online. Uh, they took this game, and it, it's a Wii download title. They have it online, playable as a preview, or you can download on your desktop through Steam. Um, you know, so again, a tool allowing content portability, but really cute game meant for kids, but the kid in me still loves it. Um, this is kind of an expensive add-on, so again, as students, we're going to cruise right past that. Um, and talk about what does main Unity cost, because this is where it gets to be a, a kind of interesting story for you guys. Um, you know, Unity is licensed uh, you know, per user, or per developer. Um, you can install it on two different machines. We don't care if you make those Mac or Windows. But the important thing is our base Unity license is free. So if you want to try out our product, you don't have to spend dime one. You can go grab it, and with that free version, you can do commercial content development. So you make some kind of a neat game, you want to put it up on a portal, or you've got some project you want to license to a client. You can do that with our free version. We, we don't mind. Uh, we do have a pro version, which, of course, has the full feature set, and that costs some money to the tune of $1,500 a seat. Uh, but you can always go out and get that first job or make that first paycheck using the free version and then, and then move up from there. Um, there are the you know, feature differences you can find at that URL. Um, if I say these things, we'll see if they ring a bell. Uh, render to texture, real-time shadows, using our custom plugins architecture. Uh, things along those lines are, are what aren't in the free version, but otherwise like 80 to 90% of the product is there. So you really get a lot for your money. Um, so you can go ahead and check it out. And then, uh, you know, for the admins and whatnot in the room, we do offer educational discounts that are pretty hefty. We have, uh, you know, term-based licensing kind of year to year. So if you want to get it set up in the lab, it's uh, really cheap to get that done. Um, iPhone is an add-on. Um, it costs extra 400 bucks to get started on that or 1500 
not expensive in the developer world, but um, I can see how it might be a bite uh, for students. Unity Wii can be really expensive. It starts at like 10 grand, 15 grand, so, you know. So learning resources, just so you guys know there's a lot out there. It's, you're going to have classes. He pointed to the, to the Unified Community Wiki. Uh, there's a lot around Unity. It starts with our core product documentation. Uh, it comes with the full set installed. Uh, we also have a resources area on our website. Don't be writing these URLs down. They're going to be available later. Uh, where you can download tutorials, example projects, things like that, uh, all usable for free. Um, books and magazines. Uh, there are two magazines out. There's one book available now. Three books are about to come out of hot off the publisher's press. We've asked them to delay it for reasons I'm about to show. Um, and then uh, the Unity community, which again is 200,000 strong that I can't speak highly enough, where um, there's our main community forums, which are in the middle, uh, the community wiki, which was pointed out in the beginning, and then uh, we have our own answers site, where if you have a very specific Q&A kind of a thing, how do I do X? Um, whereas the community is really more about a lot of theoretical discussions and quite frankly, a lot of spam and post touring. But um, it's a fun place to be nonetheless. I'm the lead chatterbox on the forum, so sorry. Um, and then uh, you know a lot of third-party resources. There's a number of websites, tutorials like Video On Demand, uh, free tutorials that are up on the, on the web. So lots and lots and lots of material. So you're not going to be left alone if, if you pick this up as part of a class or, or personal projects. So um, and then Unite was mentioned. If you can come to this, I highly recommend it. If you can't, don't worry. All sessions are recorded. All recordings are put online for free. So you know if you can't make it, you lose the benefit of being there to talk to us and uh, do the Q&A there, but it, the material is made available. Uh, it's going to be held in Montreal this year, November 10th, 11th, and 12th. Uh, we've done it every year since 2007. It is a lot of fun for me because we get to meet people from the community um, and do three days of like you know tech sessions and whatnot. So uh, a great opportunity if you can. If you're a student and you write us a nice hard luck case story, we might give you a, a discounted ticket. But unfortunately, you know, hotel and airfare are going to be yours, and those are the steeper cost items. But um, it's a lot of fun. But again, look for, for look for the videos to come online afterwards.